Welcome to our third lesson. So in the previous one, we saw how the flow of data works in Max. So always going from outlet to inlets until it reaches the end of our chain of objects. And also we saw how we can create a couple of objects through shortcuts. Especially we saw how to create the toggle object with T and the integer number box with I. So in this video, we're going to see how we can sum two integer numbers together. And why should we actually want to sum two integer numbers together? Well, Max, like every other programming environment, mostly works with numbers. So it means that it takes as inputs mostly numbers and it gives us as outputs mostly numbers. So it's fundamental to be able to work with numbers in Max and mathematical operations on them. And the easiest mathematical operation is addition, so we're going to start with that. But before we do that, let me just show you something. If we go here on the bottom left corner of our patch, there is a little icon that looks like a grid. If we click on it, it will show us, in fact, a grid. It looks like our math notebook from school, right? And uh, this is actually pretty useful because if we lock the patch, the grid disappears. And if we unlock it, I'm locking and unlocking it with Ctrl plus E, uh, then the grid appears, so it's actually a very nice visual indicator that shows us when the patch is locked or unlocked. And I have to thank you one of my patrons for this suggestion, this was really good. So let's now get to the task. So we want to sum two integer numbers together. Um, in order to do that, we have to create the plus operator. And the plus operator is an object that it's not actually here. We cannot find here on the top left bar because it's not a graphic user interface object. It's not an object that we can interact with our mouse. So in order to create it, we actually have to create a new object. Now, if we go in the bar, the first object on the left that we skipped in the previous two lessons is actually an empty new object. So with the patch unlocked, if I click on it and drag it into my patch, uh, you can see that it appears like this. This is an empty max object. So the object that we want is called the plus operator or plus object. And it's simply composed by a plus. So you just write a plus with your keyboard inside this object and then click enter. And the object is created. So this is how we create mostly objects in max. We create a new object by dragging this icon in the patch and then we write inside the object the name of the object we want to create. So let's say, for example, that I want to create the object called cheat.matrix. Then I write inside this empty object the name cheat.matrix and the object cheat.matrix appears. Um, let me actually delete it. The cheat.matrix is still quite a way far from us. So there is also a shortcut to create a new object. And this one is N, as it also suggests here. If we over over this icon, it says object N. So let's write this down. So we then we can create a new empty object, which is basically our layout to create every other object in Max. So cool. Now that we got our plus operator, I will create a couple of integer number boxes by simply pressing I on my keyboard. And as you can see, I'm with the patch unlocked because I can see the grid. And I'm going to clone it with the technique we saw in the previous video, uh, which is to click Alt and drag on an object. Then I connect my first integer number box here on this input and the second number box here on this other input or inlet. Then I will clone the number box again and put it under it. And then I will connect the output of our plus operator to the input of our integer number box here below. Now I want you to notice one thing. Um, first, I can rescale the size of this object and it doesn't change its behavior. This is totally uh, nice and it's actually it's very useful in some occasions to make the patch much more tidy up. So I can actually scale the object and its behavior will not change. And I also would like that you notice that we got two inlets. Now, of course, we have to sum two numbers together, at least two numbers together. So this object will need two inlets in order to add two different numbers together. Now, this inlet is red and this other is blue. And we are going to see in the next lesson what these actually mean. So for the moment, I just want that you know that if we want to get the result of this operation, we must first update the object that goes in the blue inlet. 
So I can, for example, drag, click on it with my mouse and drag, and then I'm going to simply input the number 3 inside this object with my keyboard and the patch locked, and then I will click uh, somewhere else in the patch, or I will simply click on enter, and now we have the result of our operation. So in order for this operation to happen, we always have to first uh, modify this number that goes in the blue inlet, and then we can modify the number that goes in the hot inlet. So as you can see, when I modify the number that goes in the blue inlet, nothing happens. And when I modify the numbers that goes in the red inlet, then uh, the calculation happens. So this is a little mystery that we are going to uncover in the next lesson. For the moment, if you manage until here, it's already a very good result. So keep your brains warm and see you in the next lesson, where we are going to discover what is actually these two colors mean. So, see you there!